today is the day before I have my surgery, so I cannot eat anything after 12 a.m. So you know, I'm about to get some snacks. My surgery is at 5 a.m. Well, at 7 a.m. Gotta be there for five. I'm about to give me some milk, because I want some cereal, some milk, and a couple snacks. See you later. I don't know why I do not believe in grabbing a bag, a buggy, because every time I come to Walmart, I buy so much stuff that I don't need. Excuse me. And literally, I do not have no more than two hands. I know I'm a mom, but I don't have no more than two hands. I'm out, I'm out the shop, y'all. So, I wound up getting some Oreos, chips, dill pickle chips, with some queso. I love queso, y'all. I put that on my tacos and everything. And I already got the milk, so I'm gonna eat the milk and cookies. And some cookies. And some chips and dip later. And now I'm about to go check out and go home, sit down, and I will see y'all at. I think I'm gonna wake up around 3:45, 4 o'clock, because it takes like an hour to get here, get to the hospital. So yeah, I'm gonna call y'all. I say call y'all back. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Good morning, good morning. It's the day of surgery. It's currently 3.39 a.m. I'm about to brush my teeth, wash my face, and get ready. I'm exhausted. I couldn't really sleep, but Today is today. It's currently 4.06. I took me a shower, got dressed in the car. Got a little bracelet, my razor bracelet on. And we're on the way. It's about an hour away. Mm -hmm. so I'll be back. Surgery. Did it put my IV in and waiting on that anesthesiologist to come in to put in my other IV. So right now is six twenty-three. I'm supposed to be going back for surgery for seven a.m. They're gonna come in and mark where I, where they're going in, and I'm just ready for them to come in and do it. This is the pillows they get you. <laughs> yes, so we'll be back. Out of surgery. It's twelve hours. I've been in the hospital. I got crumbs and I've been eating graham crackers to keep me so not nauseated. That's my bandage. You know, I just want to take the time and just thank God so much because <clears throat> whenever you go under in the future, you really don't know what's next. So. I put it all in his hands and he pulled me through. 
guess the monitor in me. My blood pressure has been a little high, but thank God I'm still here. I'm probably about to be getting released tomorrow. They keep you for like a day for you to get observated or uh, observation. Mm. All these, so I got three IVs then. Then I understand my blood pressure and everything. So, I'll get back with y'all. Sunday. It's been two days since I had my surgery. And now it's time for me to take the bandage off and get in the shower. Let the water run on it. I don't have any staples. I don't have any stitches. I have sterile strips. And right now as how I'm feeling, um, it's like I feel like I got some smell in my throat. I'm trying to cough up. But other than that, Pretty much feeling okay. Um, my neck is just real sore, tender. I've been taking um, my pain pills. Last time I did it, but this time, yeah. because I don't remember it being this, this hurtful this time. But now it's really like sore. It's kind of healing a little bit, and it's itching from the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna take this bandage off. Tell you. Yeah, I'm supposed to be relaxing. Mr. Fritz! He all Mr. Fritz! <laughs> Big teats. Why you taking me down, boo? Why? I'm trying to walk. Damn dog. This motherfucker walk with me. My face is still swollen. All in my throat. <clears> throat> oh, Lord. I'm so out of breath. 